The Texas Rangers are continuing to get after it, making it official today. That is general manager Chris Young on the right, introducing officially Nathan Avaldi to the team, signing a two-year $34 million deal with the Texas Rangers this offseason. We are pleased to be joined now by Nathan Avaldi live there as he just gets introduced uh, to the Texas Rangers faithful. And Nathan, thanks for taking the time. I cannot believe that you are entering your 12th big league season. It seems like just yesterday you entered onto the big stage. What made sense for you to make the Texas Rangers your next home? Hey, Lana, thanks for having me. Um, I mean, it's so close to home for me. Obviously, the deal and the money was right. I think the organization, too, knowing where they are, um, the young talent that they have, the willingness to go out there and spend money and just really go out and uh, compete and win. You know, I feel like they have we have all the guys that we need to go out there and do it, um, the, all the starting rotation pieces that we already added. Um, for me to be able to join this rotation, I'm, I'm excited about it. I think we have the young talent and obviously the offense to be able to go out there and win. You know, it's funny that you say that it's uh, close to home for you. You've been uh, compared so many times to Nolan Ryan. I know that you know this, Nathan, but Alvin High School graduate going back to Texas later on in his career. Do you ever take the time to think about the parallels of two, you know, hard throwing right handers, just how common you, how similar you guys may be? No, it, it's so hard for me to just, you know, <laughs> able to be compared to Nolan everything that he's been able to accomplish in his career and you know with where I am um, obviously I'm extremely grateful for everything that he's been able to do for the city of Alvin I mean he's you know in a way paved the way for me just with you know all the money he donates and uh, having the Alvin High School Nolan Ryan Field you know when I had my first Tommy John he was able to get me into the right doctors that I needed to see to be able to bounce back and you know have a successful career afterwards so um, it's a big thanks to him that I'm able to be here today. All right, kind of like a godfather to you, if you will, in terms of baseball. You mentioned the rotation, and like I said, Chris Young is going for it. Let's talk about the rotation. Obviously, yourself, right-hander Jacob DeGrom. Oh, by the way, he's with you guys, too. Andrew Heaney, Jake Odorizzi. How excited are you to get in, a, in that group with these arms? I'm super excited. You know, for me, I think the starting pitching holds the key to success. And for uh, all of our, our guys, you know, we have seven-plus guys who can – go out there and take the ball every day for us. And I think you can never have enough starting pitching. Um, you know, obviously there's going to be the ups and downs during the season, the injuries and things like that. But the arms that we have, I think yeah, we're going to be able to go out there and compete with any lineup that they want to throw out there against us. All right, I want to talk about the 2018 season. Before we look forward, let me take you back for a second. You were absolutely clutch in 2018. I feel like you pitched about 100 innings in that postseason. When people think about Nathan Avaldi, they think about Nathan Avaldi in 2018. What do you remember about that World Series and your performance? I mean, you were a savior for that club. I, I think it was just that whole run. I, I felt like as soon as I joined the Red Sox uh, from being traded over from the Rays, it was just we knew where we were at the time and there was one goal and that was to win the world series championship and we were able to go out there and do that um you know that was my first time being able to play in the postseason to go out there and uh be in the bright lights it was my second time being with the part of uh, being with the team that was in the postseason and you know i tried to take take everything in as much as i could and enjoy the moment and it was a it was an extremely fun ride for sure yeah, I bet the Dodgers don't uh, have any intention of wanting to face you anytime soon. Okay, your thoughts about playing under Bruce Bochy? I'm excited. You know, I think that was one of the biggest needs that we needed to for those for this organization is a, uh, you know, the success that he brings to the table and the experience that he has, and just to be able to go out there and take the ball. You know, hopefully not have him take it from me, but to be able to go out there and uh, compete with him behind me, I'm excited for it for sure. When you think about the Texas Rangers, you think about, of course, the AL West, and, and they can get back to prominence. And I think if there's any time now is the present. Uh, your, your thoughts about the, the outlook and the promise that this team now has in the AL West. It's not just about the Houston Astros anymore in that division, not to take anything away from what the Mariners are doing or the A's or that type of thing, but I really feel like it's a two-horse Texas race. I'm excited about it. You know, anytime that, I mean, the Astros, they get exactly what they deserve. They've been successful for the last, you know, seven, eight years um, being in the postseason and things like that. But I think it's just proven to our organization that we can compete with them and go out there and beat them. Um, and, you know, you can't take any team in your division for, uh, for granted. You have to go out there and you have to make the most for every game that you play and um, go out there and compete to win. 
Johnson. All right, looking forward to a healthy and successful 2003 for you, Nathan Avaldi. Thank you so much for taking the time. Congratulations on a well-earned deal. Thank you. Thanks for having me.